What's up, makeup minions? I'm Kim Witty from Witty Artistry, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below to become part of the Witty Artistry family. I decided to continue my Coco makeup series, this time with Pepita, the Alabrije spirit animal creature. Let's get started. If you like me and you like my artwork, it would mean the absolute world to me if you became a sponsor on my Patreon page. This is actually my third character in my Coco series, if you haven't seen Imelda or Hector yet, but this is Pepita, the Alabrije, which is basically a smashing of different animals together that lives in the Land of the Dead. Using my white eyebrow pencil, I'm outlining the facial structure, and then I'm going to be blocking out my eyebrows using a washable glue stick. Just brush the hairs upward and outwards, and then I'm finish off, finishing off the eyebrows and outlining my eyeballs. Unfortunately, my makeup puck took a dive out of the container, but luckily it did actually stay in one piece. I was fairly impressed, so that made me happy. Using green body paint, I'm filling in all of the designated areas green because these characters are super bright and super awesome looking. They would definitely be fun to have at a rave or a blacklight party, but I'm sealing the first layer with MAC Fix Plus just because green seems to behave strangely on my skin. Fill in your designated areas yellow, and this character has sort of like flowing, pretty glowing yellow lines mixed within the green fur. So I'm just laying the first layer of yellow down, making sure to follow the pattern and direction that fur has on a lion or panther. It seems that the character is mainly based off of a panther, but I am using blue now to fill in the upper part of my head blue because the fur transitions into a bluer orange color depending on its location. But I'm using a dark green now to create um, I guess variation within the fur and also depth. I like to start with a mid-tone whenever I do fur, then add my dark tones using a detail brush, making sure the fur is definitely going in the direction that it is supposed to, and then eventually I will layer a lighter color over it. So now I'm mixing in yellow and white just to make the spots, I guess, of yellow in the green fur stand out more, since painting yellow over green kind of mutes the color a bit, so this just really helped with that. Then I'm going back in with my dark green just to create certain areas of more depth in the fur, if that makes sense, around the edges of the face and just all over my body, making sure the hair is, like I said before, going in the proper direction. Mixing together purple and red, I created this funky magenta color that this character has like the most beefy, dramatic eyebrows ever, and it sort of tapers down on the edges of their nose, creating this really pretty contour color, I guess. But I'm just filling in those areas, and then right underneath that magenta color is vibrant orange. So Pepita has a red belly, so I'm just using red body paint straight out of the puck using a huge brush so it can cover a lot of surface area quickly on the chin all the way down my throat onto the chest of the character. Then with orange, I'm going to be creating sort of more depth just like I described in the fur that is green, but this time with a red palette. So I put in orange and then I'm mixing a little bit of white to that mixture to create some highlights for the fur. So basically, Put down a mid-tone, put down a slightly variable color, then add in some highlight colors, and then go in with some dark colors. This time I added black to the red to make some more variation, and added that into the fur as well. It's just sort of a layering game to what looks right to you personally, and then I filled in my mustache with red. Spirit creatures have so many different colors, I love it. So I got to use so many paints I don't normally use, but I mixed together white and blue to create um, I guess sort of like an indigo color to fill in my itty bitty nose and go around my eyes. And then I also added some red into my orange parts underneath my brows to add, like I said before, some more variation. Then with a light orange, I'm adding some variation of color into the yellow areas to show that there are different hairs. Then with white, I'm going back over the areas just to create highlights and more variation of color. Every good spirit cat has a fanciful mustache, so I'm just adding some whiskers with a slightly lighter color of red. Basically, I'm just repeating the same color variation that I applied to my chin and my neck and my chest area. Just make the hairs a little bit smaller because the area around the mouth tends to have coarser, tinier hairs. Then with a darker version of that color, I'm separating the sides of the muzzle and then also adding some more depth into my under eyebrow region. Then we just go over it with white again just to add some more highlights and more variation. 
trying not to make this too repetitive, but feigning fur honestly is just a layering game that is kind of repetitive, but it's also very relaxing. And with pink, I am going to be adding my halas in my bushy brows and also my colored contour regions. I really enjoy using purple and pink. I never use those colors. And Periodically, as I go throughout a body paint whenever I'm moving a lot, I like to spray it with MAC Fix Plus. This just prevents cracking and it smells good and feels nice. Then with my blue body paint, I am going to be creating darker areas in my blue regions. So I'm just outlining my nose, adding a little bit of texture to it, and then adding a little bit of textured fur in my under eye regions. Looking up your in-between muzzle spot again, and also the edge of your chin. Just like the rest of the body, the blue parts on the top of the head also have different textures and different color variations, so I'm adding dark blue. And I thought it would be super fun to go all out for this makeup and paint my hair. So I just continued the green into my hair, the blue into my hair, the dark blue flecks, and also the light greens and yellows, and it was just, it was just a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing this makeup. Imitating Pepita's ears, I filled the inside of my ears with blue, the outsides with pink, and then the very tops with orange, just to follow the same patterns that the character has. Moving on to the difficult part of this is always painting on top of your eyelids. I thought it would be super cool to get those really captivating eyes that Pepita has, so I decided to paint over my eyelids. I put down a layer of yellow body paint in sort of an almond shape, added some highlights in the center, and then outlined it with black body paint. And with a very carefully uh, executed hand, I create the pupils that are slitted and then add highlights with white on the edges of them just to make them pop. Finish off the look with some awesome fangs. You just pop them on your teeth and then you are ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment below. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already to join the Witty Artistry family. I had so much fun becoming Pepita from Coco. I just watched the movie and it is awesome. See you guys next Saturday.